What's going on guys? It's Nicole Charnel here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are talking about Perfect Tone. And once again, it's just an update. It's probably gonna be my last update about this product line, but I do have an update for you. Some of y'all have been asking. Before we get into it, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm trying to hit 5K and I need your help. Also, follow me on Instagram. There I post healthy intentional living tips and more about my businesses. Now, back to the video. Okay, so long story short, I tried Perfect Tone um, last year in the beginning of the year, around January. I have a video talking about that experience. I will link it up in the cards. But uh, basically, it was a bad experience. My face was peeling, breaking out, um, not improving. Not improving it, with the exception of two products, which I will talk about. Um, but the rest of the products were basically burning my skin. Um, so I talked about that in a video. After that video, Perfect Tone reached out to me again and they offered me more products and I also have a video about that. And in that video, I just basically explained how the company reached out to me, apologized about the bad customer experience, that I, customer service experience that I had and offered me to try their products again um, with by giving me, giving me more products to try. Now this is the review of me trying these products consistently for I want to say two months, almost two months. So today is actually October 8th, um, so li literally two days shy of two months that I've been trying this product, right? Or trying it for the second time. So what they sent me was the Perfect Tone Exfoliating Cleanser, the Clarifying Gel, uh, which is a toner. This is leaking. I don't know why this is leaking. This is the purifying toner, another toner. I'm gonna have to get a napkin. And they sent me the refining cream. So the only product that I liked after the first time, and I mentioned this before, sorry, the refining cream and the spot treatment. This one they did not send me send to me a second time, but they sent me another bottle of this. These are like um, they're for smoothing out your skin, giving you good texture, and also uh, dark spots. That was like, dark spots were like my main thing of what I was trying to improve, my dark spots on my skin. Um, but also getting good texture, I never noticed that it, that my texture was bad. So it wasn't like really high on my list. Um, but this also helped with my dark spots as well. So these two products I love. I continue to love them. I still love them today. And these two products I would definitely repurchase from their line. Love these. If you have dark spots, this right here is king. So the products that were causing me the main issue were the cleanser and then the two toners, right? So like I said, they sent me these products again. And I'm just going to talk about them individually because I use them at different times of the day. I tried them, you know, using them together. I tried using them separately. I tried to use it with other products. So I, I got a really good feel about how I feel about them and how I feel that they work, okay? So first of all, the exfoliating cleanser, green tea, aloe vera, biodegradable jojoba beads. So um, this right here, it to me, it literally feels like a cleanser that has like tea tree oil in it or peppermint in it, something that has like that refreshing feeling in it. After you use it, your skin is noticeably tingling. You feel the tingling, okay? You feel the freshness of your face. You feel how it's like giving you that uh, burning sensation for lack of a better term. Now, when I use this the second time, first of all, I feel like it wasn't as strong as when I used it the first time. This, I feel like it was inconsistent from when I used it before, because like I said, I used it the first time, put it on my skin, immediately started burning. I had to wash it off immediately. The second time I started using it, which is the second bottle, completely different bottle, they sent it to me at a completely different time, it does not do that. It literally just feels like a very strong cleanser. And I'm talking very strong, like um, if you ever use like that Neutrogena grapefruit cleanser, that's super strong, um, versus using a very mild cleanser like the Cetaphil cleanser, Cetaphil cleanser. Next, I will talk about this product here. This is the Clarifying Gel, and it is a toner. Once again, I have a consistency issue with this. First time I got this product, it was liquidy it was not a gel like this clearly comes out as a gel like you can pump it into your fingers the first time i got this product 
I literally pumped it out and it was water on my fingers. And I was like, okay, the directions don't tell you to use a cotton pad. So how am I supposed to put this on my face? If it's like literally just running down my hand, like I couldn't even figure it out. Now this time, as you can see, it came out as a gel. I was able to put it on my fingers, put it on my face. Um, this once again, it, it just feels very strong. It's like, it reminds me of an astringent. I used to use astringent all the time when I was younger, like coming into puberty. My face was always broken out, always had pimples on my face. Um, and I, you know, I use an astringent because that was what was recommended to me by my mom and her doctor and my doctor and all that kind of stuff to help me with my pimples, to like strip all the oils off my face. And that's what it reminds me of. However, I do feel like it works really well as a toner because after I use the cleanser, my face feels very stripped. And then I put this on and it brings my face back to level, right? And that's what a toner is supposed to do, like restore your face, restore the pH in your skin and all that kind of stuff. So it definitely does that. And I could definitely tell. So the last product, yeah, it's definitely leaking. The Purifying Toner. This is the last one um, of the products that they sent me. A refreshing mattifying toner designed to expel dirt, oil, and bacteria while shrinking your large pores. Works great on oily skin types, coconut, lemon, and wheat germ oil. Um, this one is probably the favorite out of the three that I would not purchase again. Um, it works really well. It's a great toner. Once again, it is strong. Once again, it gives me that tingling, burning feeling. However, it brings back balance to my face. I don't use the this cleanser, this line of cleanser, morning and night. I use a different cleanser in the morning that's more soft, subtle, um, just a really gentle cleanser. And, and then I use um, the really strong toner. This one I use at night after I use the killer cleanser. Okay, I should probably shouldn't say killer, right? Um, the very strong cleanser, and then I use this one after. So this one's definitely milder than the other one. However, I still cannot inhale it. I, if I put it underneath my nose, I just can't breathe for a couple seconds because it gives me that burning nose feeling. Um, but it does what it's supposed to do. It brings that balance to my face. Um, it does expel oil. You know, it's like that last line of defense after the cleanser. Okay, let's wipe away everything else. It definitely does that. Overall, I think the products work really great. They have been working for my face. Like my, my face has cleared up, my, my dark spots are minimizing continuously. And I think that also has to do with constantly um, doing my skincare, being consistent with the products, being consistent with using them. Once again, this is going to be my last video about this product line. Uh, I'm pretty much, like I said, just pretty much done with them, but not in a bad way. Like I feel like them reaching out to me the second time, sending me products, they didn't have to do that and I really do appreciate it, especially since I had the bad customer service experience the first time. So I really do appreciate that. If anybody asked me, um, yeah, I would, I would recommend products but I would definitely it would come with a disclaimer I would definitely say hey like it is strong but it works it's real I can we can go with it you know but it is strong it did burn my skin the first time it still tingles my skin all that but it's not too bad thanks again for watching I hope you guys enjoyed this video I will link the other videos on the screen as well so you can check this out if you haven't seen them already but other than that um that's it for this one thanks for watching guys I'll see you in my next one Bye.